Hi, and welcome to what is today a very bittersweet episode of Things That Go Fast. And that is because today the thing that is going is this BMW 125i. Now I've put my heart and soul into this car, my time, my money, effort. I've been to some amazing places with some great people. But at Spa, I was overtaken by an Astra panel van and a Vauxhall Nova. Now, I cannot be standing for that, so I can't really make this car much faster without turbocharging it and blowing it up. So there's only one natural, obvious step, and that is to buy something faster and move on. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give this one last wash, get it ready for its new owner who's coming up from Bournemouth. And uh, yeah, the next car you see will be something else. And as if by magic, here she is. So this is my new car. Try and zoom out a little bit. This is my new wheels. It is a Renault Sport Megane 265 <sighs> with a cup chassis which means it's got a limited slip diff. Um, I was told it was running 300 horsepower by the people I bought it from, but that is a lie. Uh, as is pretty much everything else they told me about it. Um, it's got a pretty questionable past. It's very, very French. Uh, there's a different warning light on the dashboard every day. I can probably see more out of my van, I reckon, out of the back, but it is fast. Uh, I'm not going to start it now because it's half past seven in the morning and I'm just about to go out with a go-kart. So, um, yeah, there'll be a lot more about this car coming. Uh, but, yeah, here it is. And there he is. Let's go karting. Just before we get into the go-karting, um, I need to show you the garage that I built for my go-kart. So this... This just looks like an ordinary shed to the untrained eye. Standard shed. So what I did was, I built a platform inside the shed. Basically, I built a platform inside the normal side of the shed. So all my shed things are in there, like the gardening stuff and the lawnmower and stuff. Um, built a platform and then cut a doorway in the end of the shed, hinged it and made it into a go-kart garage, which fits absolutely perfectly in here, along with all the spare tires and the fuel and everything. So if you're thinking about getting a go-kart, but don't think you've got anywhere to put one, that's not true, because you can make your garage out of your shed. So it's actually been about five months, I think, since the last time I drove the car. Uh, basically, I went for a scan on my arm and the doctors told me that it wasn't, one of the bones wasn't getting back together again. So if I had crashed it, it would have just snapped like a twiglet. So that wouldn't have been particularly good, but it feels pretty good now. I haven't actually had a scan to confirm that, but it feels pretty good. So, um, go and send it I guess and see if I can get anywhere near the 40 second mark which is obviously where I was hovering around last time that is the goal and uh, I don't know hopefully it's going to be warm today and dry so there might be a bit more grip than there usually is uh, yeah it's going to be good well here goes nothing
And we've got a special guest turned up. <laughs> Mr. Caladine is taking the car out. Scared. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so what's just happened here is I think I left my bottle of water on the go-kart seat and then Gaz has driven off and it's fallen off the track. So I don't know how we didn't notice a bottle up his ass. Maybe I left it on the floor. Anyway, the ladies had to yell at yellow flag and go and get it out. The Gaz is involved in a race now with, um, with a complete stranger, which is fantastic. Gaz is coming in. I don't know if he's just swapping over or what. Right, well, Gareth seems to have busted his ribs, at least one of them. I don't know if it was like Prince did or... I can't suck a He can't suck his own. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, um, the lap time is playing up. I don't know what time Gaz is doing. 38.4s. Uh, 38, he's doing 38.4s. <laughs> well, I'm going to see if I've fixed it or not and go out again. <laughs> running out of fuel. Is it? Yeah, when it... Um, yeah, when, it's starving. Yeah, it's... Yeah. yeah. Um, 40.47. That's pretty impressive. That corner's much quicker like that. Much quicker if you just lift off on the line and then let it roll into it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's put some fuel in her. Oh. Hello. Race day. Go-karting with Ben. That's my, that's my penis. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at how that dangled on there. Do you tie up nice? <laughs> First day at school. <laughs> Are my shoes clean, Daddy? Where's my gloves? Don't forget the them. Don't forget the glovey wubbies. Right then, sweetheart. Uh. <laughs> Fat bottoms in.
I think my rib has completely failed. Your rib? Yeah. Oh dear. It really, really hurts. Okay. You could fix that with a bacon sandwich? Maybe. And I think there's a fly in my ear roll. Okay. <laughs> so he can go. Oh. Oh. Yes, man, my rib. Right, here we go again. See if I can do this without sicking up a cheeseburger in my helmet. Help if I can put the gloves on the right fucking hand. Right, the laptop is working. Fucking done it. Have ya? 39.91. That'll do. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Fuck here now. Well done. Yes. You've done it. Oh. Don't take 18 years. Oh, fucking hell. I knew it as well. I knew it. I, I, I hit this corner perfect. Yeah. And then I hit that bottom corner perfect and I got the drive out of here perfect as well. Excellent. Excellent. I've fucking done it. Absolutely over the moon with that. I kept getting 40s, like 40.5, 40.4, and I was thinking, oh, I'm just not going to find it. I'm not going to find that extra bit. And uh, yeah, what do you know? 39.9. I'm fucking chuffed. Uh, so now I guess I, there's no point trying to go 38 something next time. I guess it'll be a, like a 39.5 will be the next target. But I, I think I can do it. I know. I know where I found the time one particular corner which I've been doing wrong the whole time I had a quick chat with the owner and he put me on put me onto the right technique for it and it, it found me that that half a second I was looking for in this in this session but uh, another another fantastic day it was better I, I really enjoyed the fact there were loads of people there as well um, it was good fun actually having to, to not race with but having to negotiate other carts on the track it was just brilliant I think Gaz has hurt himself quite badly I think he's his ribs, basically the seats hit him in the ribs quite hard. Uh, but, um, other than that, everything's great. Uh, and I'm gonna go back again as soon as I can get another Friday off work. Because that is, it's addictive, the adrenaline. The, the feeling of, uh, of stringing together corners properly is just brilliant. So anyway, end of another video. I'll see you next time.